A new Star Citizen Alpha 3.24 PTU patch just dropped. Let's see what's in it. Before we get into this video, I'd like to let y'all know that I'm doing a giveaway for an LTI Argo Atlas. In order to participate, all you have to do is be subscribed and leave a comment in any video between now and the end of December. Let's get into this video. All right, guys, so let's just get straight into it. There's a new global event called Save Stanton, and it says tonight CIG will be um, starting the first two phases. All right, so just be aware of that. In order to access it, it will be under your priority missions, or it also will be on top of your visor. Uh, so just keep an eye out for that all right so they made a few updates under the features and gameplay under the location category it says hangar elevator and alarm sounds have been temporarily muted which is i think that that'll be nice that'll be nice uh gameplay and star map uh radar decluttering and performance i did go over this but let's see what this says here it says remove turret markers from the star map and radar reworked marker calling category nap points will now be prioritized over other non-essential markers refactored marker canvases to reduce number of inactive building blocks nodes getting created updated per marker on radar and star map increases scan reveal duration from five seconds to 10 seconds that is nice uh, when i did test this i, I noticed that uh, uh, when you do the scan and you want to see the nav map uh, markers it was a little too fast so i i i found myself uh pinging a couple of times just to see all the ones that i wanted to see so uh making it 10 seconds is a lot better it says here refilling times has been re-added and balanced and they've added weapon group number to crosshair switch pop-up under ships and vehicles the argo atlas has been added to ship shops and uh the f7c mark 2 has been added to ship shops that's big that's really nice and the retaliator modules category added to shops they reordered the annunciator and the mist starfare and freelancer annunciator setup and polish has also been done there's a few bug fixes for this one as well uh they fixed an issue where freight elevator retrieval ui failed with all own and items get stuck on transferring to warehouse they fixed an issue where ui all red and no scan information for mining laser turrets they fixed an issue where the hall c is unable to engage quantum travel they fixed an issue where larger aiming ui option on vehicle configuration memories does not function they fixed an issue where ui does not switch between fracture and extraction mode uh, fracture mode binding does not update they fix an issue where the various vehicles lack ui elements indicating the lock status of their components and weapon hard points uh this this is for multiple vehicles they fix an issue where closing the door on the cockpit weapon locker links to close the cockpit engineering bay door button also and this is for the zeus mark 2 variant they fix an issue where the replace me ball are in the 400i cargo bay. They fix an issue where vehicle is priced at zero AUEC. So now this is the Aegis Saber Firebird. They fix an issue where disabling and enabling weapons on ships with uh, retract with retraction to enable auto gimbal on the ship. They fix an issue where window pops up for anyone who previously had borderless mode. They fix an issue where mission A stops being completed. At progression two out of six so now this is the save stanton phases if it's an issue where the remaining slicer asset numbers does not update during or complete the mission that is also for the save the stanton uh, priority mission and also they fix an issue where the hall c is not requiring docking collar when cargo is present with this comes a client crashes four server crashes and a server deadlock before I let you go, I'd like to let y'all know that my organization, Phase 1 Industry, is now recruiting new and veteran players. If you are interested, you can find our Discord in the description down below. Don't forget to leave a like, subscribe. I'll catch you guys on the next one.